If there's something you probably never thought too much about, it's where they got the face to put on the CPR dummy. Surprisingly, the story is a lot more interesting than you might think. It's the face of L'Encanto de la Seine, or otherwise known as the Unknown Woman of the Seine. It was borrowed from a 19th century desk map that has fascinated lay people and scientists alike for centuries. Her origins are unknown, but the popular and enduring belief places her as a woman pulled from the Seine in the late 1880s. Her body showed no signs of violence, leading most to believe that the young girl, around age 16, must have thrown herself into the river of her own accord. A pathologist at the Paris morgue was reportedly so fascinated with her beautiful, serene expression that he made a wax death mask of it that has stood the test of time. Her calm expression charmed more and more people, with Parisians even keeping copies of the mask in their homes. Albert Camus even famously compared her smile to that of the Mona Lisa and people have long speculated about her life and the circumstances of her death. She inspired books, songs, and obscure movies, yet she is the most recognizable face of the Resuscity Annie, also known as Rescue Annie or CPR Annie. In 1958, Peter Safar and Asmund Lerdal, a Norwegian toy maker, created the first CPR mannequin. According to popular theory, the Le Encantor de la Seine was hanging on the wall of Lerdal's parents' house. The toy maker visited while he was working on the mannequin, and he was sort of bewitched by her face. Therefore, unknown woman of the same became the face of Rassasi Annie. Romantics among us claim that she's the most kissed woman in history. Others whimsically say that every year thousands of people are trying to bring a drowned woman back to life. However you choose to view it, her face has undoubtedly saved millions of lives, and her mystery remains intact. Personally, I'd like to think she's smiling so mysteriously because she knew what the future held. Though, if she is the age of 16, I'll leave that part up to you. Now you know your history.